Okay, so boom. Hey, G Body, what we tell you about doubling back? Now, if you don't know what doubling back in the line is, then let me know you ain't never been to the penitentiary. And if you ain't never been to the penitentiary, I advise you to never go. And if you so happen to go to the penitentiary because you avoided, you know what I'm saying, what it is I was trying to tell you, and you decided to be hard headed, and you want to go and find out for yourself, and you go to child hall and you doubling back in that line, let me tell you a couple of things that'll let me know about you. You done burnt all your bridges on the town. And then you gonna lie and try to say, no, nah, it was just a good meal. Ain't no such thing as a good meal in the penitentiary. And then it's gonna let me know that you ain't got no commissary. Ain't nobody sending you no bread. Ain't nobody looking after you. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't got no business putting your tray down, running back, and jumping back in that line, and then you're putting yourself in a situation because that's exactly what's going to happen. I seen it a whole bunch of times. And in this situation right here, listen to me. I had to call a red flag on the play and hurry up and, you know what I'm saying, move around because when you're in the child hall, and it go down, it ain't no room for you to say you didn't know what was going down. So you in the midst of, you know what I'm saying? Something personal over a piece of chicken done became GD Bidney. You know what I'm saying? What they call it bird because you don't want to disrespect the kitchen crooks. You know what I'm saying? When they having that bird down there. Now, when I first got to the penitentiary, they still had what they like to call the bird on the bone. You know, <laughs> they still had the bird on the bone. And when they had the bird on the bone, listen, a lot of people want to go down there because we don't get the bird on the bone probably number once, maybe twice a month. Now, me, on the other hand, I don't like to go to the child hall. I don't like to go to the child hall because to me, it was a death, it was a death trap. You just never know what's going on. If there's any kind of animosity and it pop off down there in the child hall, listen, it's going to go down. And then not only that, I just didn't like the food. I just didn't believe in walking down there. Now, when I first got there, the only thing about going to child was, now the breakfast, the breakfast was decent. They still had the, they had the real eggs, you know what I'm saying? They had the real bacon and all that old stuff, you know what I'm saying? So we march on down there. But the difference was, when I first got there, when they called child, you could just fade out of the unit, boom, go on down there. You could eat your food when you get through, boom, you could fade out. Over time, they 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 organize, they structure it a little more. They gonna call your unit, you gotta come out, everybody gotta get in line, you gotta wait. They gonna march you down there to the child hall, like some kids in kindergarten, in a line, don't get out of the line, they gonna stop the whole line, don't be doing nothing, you ain't got no business doing. You gonna walk in the child hall, you gonna be standing in line, and then they gonna make a call, and then you gonna have to step out, you know what I'm saying? Like All that old other stuff, right? But see, this is the lesson before I even get to it. Now, when I first went to the penitentiary, for everybody who just now getting caught up, I went to the penitentiary for special aggravated robbery, special aggravated kidnapping, first degree premeditated murder, then I had three counts of felony murder. And on top of that, me being scared that I was going to get a life sentence, I ended up catching an escape charge. That was back in 2007. Now, when I caught the escape charge, they put an emergency transfer on me to hold me in TDOC custody. That's Tennessee Department of Corrections. That is the penitentiary. Before I even took my time and signed to go to prison, I was already in prison as a 23 and 1, what they call 23 and 1, a master security inmate. They moved me. Now, when I escaped, I was in the Robinson County Jail. I ended up getting caught in Clarksville in the slab. And when I got caught in the when I got caught in the slab, that commercial break me, please, because I this is a couple of people from from, from Clarkville that said I don't never mention Brick City. Listen to me. I know a little bit about Brick City too. You know what I'm saying? New Providence, all that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Brick City, you know what I'm saying? The slab, you know what I'm saying? New Providence, you know what I'm saying? All that down there, whatnot. But, but look, check this out. So when I escape, I get caught in the slab. They take me to, to the Montgomery County Jail because did no jail that in the 19th district want to hold me. I already knew I wasn't going back to my county, but then I had, they brought and told me that did no jail in the 19th district at all want to hold me. So they put an emergency transfer on me and they moved me to Nashville, Tennessee. I went to special needs d -Berry as a maximum security uh, high risk inmate on 23 and one. Now, when I get there, I got, I'm kind of special because they can't treat me the same way as other inmates because I have not been sentenced. I don't belong to the custody. I'm not in the custody of TDOC. I don't belong. So they got to treat me a little different. But at the same time, I'm in prison. Now, like I told y'all before, the first person I met, Slim McKinney, the dude, talk, yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, when I go from what they call, uh, I think it was what 7C and 7F, 7F, if I ain't mistaken, you know what I'm saying? It's where, you know, they get you on the psychotropic med, they take you and evaluate. They move me up. Now, when they move me upstairs, you know what I'm saying? This is how I know I'm getting acquainted 
with being on maximum security. This when you pacing your flow all the time. Your sale ain't that big. Now you ain't got nothing else to do. And now, now, now I'm gonna give you a couple of details before I get to the story, right? When you pacing your flow in there, the only thing you got is your memories and then your case. Your case is going to wear you down because you're going to think you are a lawyer. And then on top of that, I'm in here watching Boston Legal with Danny Crane and I promise you, I thought not only was I a paralegal, I also thought I was an attorney of the law. You can't tell me nothing. I know codes. I know all these, you know what I'm saying? I'm objection. I don't listen to me. I don't sit in here and read. I done sit in here and role play my whole entire trial. I done played the defense attorney and the prosecutor. When the prosecutor objected, I, I, I done went through everything. What he going to say, how he going to say it. I done cross-examined the witnesses in here. Listen, I done, listen, I done did a whole, I just know I'm finna win. And then I done rested my case in there. I rest my case, y'all. I'm, I'm defending myself because these lawyers in here playing reindeer cocaine game with me. So I'm going to defend myself. Now, as I'm pacing this flow, had it been grass, I would have cut a trail in there. Because the only thing, I'm, like I said, I'm thinking about my memories, I'm thinking about, you know what I'm saying, then I'm going over my cap. My cell was across from this white guy. He was tall. Because every time he came to the window, his head was right at the thing. He used to always kind of scrunch down and look. And he had them bifocals on that the penitentiary give you when your sight start going down because you're stressed. It ain't because, <laughs> listen, it ain't got nothing to do with age, none of that. It's just you, you're stressed out. You get so stressed out, you can't even see no more. So I'm looking, I'm, I used to look over at him out and he never went outside. I done been here seven, eight months. This man never went outside. Then I noticed he, probably, he only get mail once or twice a month. He never used the phone, but but he ordered commissary. So somebody was still sending him money. And when you're sitting on maximum security, you start analyzing stuff like that, but you don't have nothing else to do. So I'm sitting in here, and it's almost like I'm trying to read people. I'm trying to read people who I can see. I'm trying to read people who I can see, you know what I'm saying, uh, through my window, right? I'm trying to, I'm looking. And when I used to look at him, I always used to wonder, I wonder what he locked up for, because he never came out. He never asked the police to come over and ask me. None of that. The only thing he did was get up. He paced his flow the entire day. I know he had a TV, because I could see his TV in there, and I know he had a radio, because every now and then I, I, see him, I see him with the headphones on. Now, when they, they, they'll feed him, he'll eat his food, boom, boom, he'll, he'll go to the shower. He didn't even talk, and I'm thinking to myself, he... Got to be them probably almost lost his mind over it. It just so happened out of the blue. All of a sudden, they come through early in the morning and they ask you, you know what I'm saying, if you want to. Man, I got to take this car home. Right, we back. They had to come and fix the garage though. You know what I'm saying? But look, check this out. All of a sudden, it's early in the morning, about 6 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? They come through early like that when you're on 23 and 1 because they're trying to keep you from going outside because they don't like taking you out there and then having to come back out there and get you, escort you to the door. And if six or seven of us go out there, they got to do that six or, six or seven times. It just so happened, I'm up early in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I done already hit my push-ups and everything. I done already hit my back arms. You know what I'm saying? I done ate a couple of, you know what I'm saying, some of them strawberry shortcakes and everything. I done had me some little Kool-Aid or whatnot. And I'm looking out the door. An old boy who don't ever go outside, who don't talk to nobody, I see them open the flap. <laughs> when they open the flap, little buddy going outside, he turned, <laughs> cuff him up, step to the back of the cell. They pop the door. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm most certainly going outside today. I need to have a conversation with this man. I ain't never talked to him. I ain't seen him talking to nobody. I ain't seen him. I ain't seen him talking to nobody. Them talking about they convert. They having a whole little conversation. Now, now time since I've been here, been here almost a year. So when they come around, baby, what you got going on? You go, hey, you already know I'm going on red. Come on, cuff up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Step to the side. Right. They come in. Straight on. I said, oh boy, don't never go outside. Yeah, man, he ain't been outside in a long time. You know what I'm saying? He ain't been outside. You don't really. Man, I get out there, they <laughs> walk off. But man, I wait for a little minute. I watch him. He walking fast as ever. Finally, I find a way to strike up a conversation with him. This dude come to the penitentiary. He don't had nothing but a, I think it was a, I think it was an eight-year sentence. It wasn't nothing big. He had a short sentence. When he came, he ended up getting into it. 
with this dude. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you get into it with somebody in a penitentiary, and penitentiary rules is in effect. It's almost like that beef don't die down. Y'all can sit at the same table and play spades and play domino, but in the back of your mind, you always, especially if you don't got one up on somebody, if you don't want a one on one something, listen, or you don't, you don't made somebody feel this small, listen, you can never underestimate that person. It's been, you living in the unit with this person for years. Listen, this people, listen. I lived in the unit with people for years, and I've seen several times somebody get their lick back. Years later, it might be a moment he done called and got mad and just remember that you beat him up. And next thing you know, he'll hook up, he done went across your head. So he get into it. I can't remember exactly what he said him and the dude got into it about, right? But whatever it was, this dude was in line at child. He see out of his peripheral that this dude was breaking line. But in his mind, he thought it was dude about to try to do something to him. He thought dude was finna try to sneak, sneak, sneak him and stick on him, right? He got the butcher knife on him. So by the time dude get close enough, he turn around, grab him, <laughs> hit the boy, get on, <laughs> hit him, and come to find out the dude that had no knife on him, none of that. He was breaking line and child. That's one of the lessons I learned early before I even got, oh, I ain't no breaking no land in child. Because you never, it could cause so many, it's so disrespectful on so many levels because you're breaking in front of grown men. If you don't get out of the unit on time and you just hungry and your stomach touching your back, whatever the case may be, you want to be up in the front with your homeboy and everybody already in line and you think you just going, oh, 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 what you got going on, homie? Them folks is not going for that. So just so, just so happy, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming across the I'm coming from across the hallway. Got one of the guys with me because the guy, you know what I'm saying, they got the AA me, right? I didn't like them having the AA me because they trying to stay in my business. I'm trying to go over and holler at somebody that I got something going on with. I'm dropping this story. I'm trying to go over and holler at somebody I got something going on. You know what I'm saying? I got the AA, hey, hey, bro, bro. Hey, hey, fake across the hallway with me real quick. Man, I'm on something. Man, come on, bro. I, just, I got you, bro. You want, I'm going to give you two, three cigarettes or something. I know you want to smoke. Come on with you. Come on, tobacco, bro. Come on, bro. All right, GD, GD on that. G Man, come on. You ain't say GD on nothing until I told it. Come on, tobacco, bro. So we fade on across the hall. Take care of my business. I come back over. Now, when I first, they would have the menus of the food up. We get back. The brother that I'm walking he starts, man, let me see what they got on the menu today, man. They finna get ready to call child. So when he on the menu, had I been them peeped it, I would have stayed across the hallway. Listen, I would have stayed across the hallway, waited for them to call child. You know what I'm saying? And once brother them faded out over there, because all the brothers probably wouldn't went. Once all the brothers, if I you and would have went out first, then I would have faded on across the hallway. I still would have had a brother with me. And whatever whatever the case, I would have ended up finessing the situation somehow to say, man, I was across the hall. Y'all went first. When they called y'all out, y'all went down there. I faded on back across the hall. Me and bruh got over here. Bruh faded back over there. Before, I didn't know who was in the, who was in the unit or not. I would have finessed it. He get on there and I heard him saying, man, it's bird day. It's bird day. It's bird day. Soon as he say that, the officer, child time. When he say, child, listen to me, them folk coming. Ka -ta -ta, ka -poof, ka -ta -ta. I'll put the dominoes up, put the gold up, go on. No, no, just put the hand down. Just put the hand down. We finish the hand. I'll go, go and finish the hand real quick. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, y'all got two minutes to get out of the unit, man. Just put the car down, bro. Put the cards in your pocket, bro. Come on, let's get up out of here. Man, these folk move so funny on bird day. Get what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get back up here to the cell because I'm already knowing in just a second, I'm finna hear one of the one of the things that I hate hearing the most in the pension. I know I'm finna hear. I'm trying to up the step and they think, hey, Joe T. What's up, bro? Hey, all, all the guys going down here to child, man. Come on, bro. We're going to go to child. I know you don't like going there. But all the guys finna go down. Okay, leave you in the unit by yourself. Give me one second, bro. Hey, Joe T. Joe T. Come on, bro. We got one minute, bro. Come on, bro. All right, here I come. Here I come, bro. Easy, man. 
Gotta go on down here with y'all. Come on, man. Come on, let's ride, bro. So we walking down there, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to them. They talking about weekend first. You know what I'm saying? We having a whole little conversation. All the guys, you know what I'm saying? We mobbing together. We get out here, you know what I'm saying? And we fade on down. And we fade on. This is when you could just fade on down. You know what I'm saying? When they called them. This is before they, you know what I'm saying? Making us stand in a line. You only going to stand in the line when you get in the cafeteria. You know what I'm saying? When you wait to go up here and get your train. Now, this was the move in the penitentiary why they getting their train. Now, you're going to have an officer, you're going to have two officers in there. One going to be on the opposite end, and the other one going to be, you know, probably, probably diagonal, you know what I'm saying, they can see each other. One of them going to be over here close, he ain't going to be right by the fool. Now, you got some officers, they super police, they going to remember if you done came back through. Some dudes, they ain't going to speak to the officer because they ain't trying to be recognized when they double back in this line. So soon as we get there, listen to me, soon we get in there and fade in there, you already see dude getting they trade. They throw they, they put their trays down. They walk to the back. They walk to the back uh, area where, where, you know what I'm saying, people who ain't probably affiliated really sit. They get their trades, go back there, boom, and they jump back over the thing, <laughs> and they jump right back in line, and they fade through again, <laughs> they get the tray, and they fade all out. Some people are double back two, three times. The police gonna have to catch them. So in this situation, you know what I'm saying, we, the guys is out here. We go through to get our trays. One of the guys, <laughs> I, I'm watching him. He fade, he jumped the line. Soon as he jumped the line, I heard, oh, hold on, cuz, cuz, what you got going on, cuz? You don't fake, you don't break. The dude he jumped in front of is somebody he cool with that's a crip. It's a couple of crips right here. But the crip who behind him took it as disrespect. He, hold on, cuz, you don't jump in front of cuz, what you got going on? He turned around, man, what you, hold on, hold on real quick, cuz. He like, man, now you doing like that? He was like, man, the police, uh, uh, uh. he was like, nah, cuz, I don't care nothing about that, cuz, you don't jump. At this point, the G's is alert of the situation. So he, man, cuz, cuz, are we good? And nah, cuz, we ain't straight, cuz. He done hopped the line like that, get in front of you like that, cuz, man. He tripping, what's up, cuz? He was like, man, y'all, nah, you tripping, man. He was like, man, ain't even like that. You tripping on these state trades? That finesse ain't finna get you nothing, folk. Talking about, man, you tripping on these state trades, man. I'm just trying to get a, no, nah, no, nah, hold on. So at this point, the guy, we, we, I ain't got no choice. I ain't got no choice. We got the mob over here because at this point, it's, it's six, seven crips over here. One of them getting loud, bruh getting loud. The police ain't made no move yet, and he over here causing the issue. So I'm looking around. My first thought is, where is either the BG, the, the something G, the somebody who got some kind of rank in here? Because at this point, I got a, I got a position. So I'm familiar with who who got certain kind of rank. You know what I'm saying? Who you know what I'm saying? Who can holler? Who who can who can make this situation stop right now? We can handle this later on. So I'm looking around, and by this time. Two or three of the guys is walking over here. And the guys is walking over here. One of them is on the black guy squad. And I'm going to tell you something. They're going to take care of the business first and they're going to handle GD later. If you over here, you disrespecting the guy, listen to them. They're going to stand up for the guy because ain't going to be no embarrassment or talking crazy or disrespecting folk on, in no shape, form, or fashion. Man, hold on, cuz. Hold on, cuz. They ain't going to. Nah, y'all need to such and such and such and such. Ain't going to be none of that. Oh, what y'all, what's up, cuz? None of that. And then all of a sudden, dramatic effect, me, please. The crib holler. Oh, you can see me when he say that. We got no choice but to get up. The police. Hey, hey, what's going on? With hey, come on. Hey, Joe T. Hey, bro. I said, man, that's crazy. But at this point, this is one of the situations where I'm going to go ahead and mob, but I'm trying to use my mind at the same time. It ain't that I'm scared. It ain't, this ain't got nothing to do with me. This is personal, bro. Tripping. So by the time we mobbing on, hold on, hold on. What's going on, cuz? Man, he done jumped the line. I don't know who he think he is. You know what I'm saying? This man, I need to see him. So when we get back to the unit, he, bro, all of us look at it, bro. Bro, you got to respond to this. He asking for you. Man, he tripping. Man, he ain't doing nothing. Man, man, bro, what we done told you about? Breaking, jumping that line anyway. Come on about that line, bro. And then one of the brothers holler out. Man, that's embarrassing, folks. Oh, that's the language I like to hear right there. When you get to talking like that, that I know what time it is. They going to put you in that thing thing. They going to put you in that thing thing soon. He said, man, come on, bro. That's embarrassing, bro. So he said, I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, man, what you mean? That's embarrassing, bro. He was like, man, nobody care nothing about this state stuff. That's over with. When it comes to your law policies, a guy ain't lying, bro. You done jumped this line. The Crips is, is calling you out, saying they want to see you. Everybody see that the issue is about you done jumped the line to get back up here because, you know what I'm saying, you're hungry or whatever. You done jumped in front of the opposition and all this, this, and that. And then the, and then the Crips. He ain't stopped talking yet. He's like, nah, nah, for real. He was like, so when we get to eating and buried, come. He like, so when we get to eating and buried to get back to the unit. I, I want to see him. He asking for the one. So they make, bro, 
jump out the line. I see one of the dudes, you know what I'm saying? I said, man, what's up? He was like, man, I my cousin already asked for him, Joe T, so you already, you know what I'm saying? They got to pat him down. Uh -uh. I said, all oh, that what it is. I said, that what it is. I said, man, hey, but it is what it is. He was like, man, it's, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Over there, bird, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't even like that. I said, I don't like to come down here and leave. He was like, man, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? And we get back to the union, you know what I'm saying? That between them, we take it, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You already know how it is, Joe T, man. Pin to the rules, in fact, that was up. We go sit down. Bro, sitting right here trying to explain himself. out of how they own it. Man, bro, we done told you about, bro, why you, man, I'm just saying, bro, the police wasn't even on all that, bro. I just jumped in for, you know, I'm cool with cuz, and cuz, this, 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 they like, nah, cuz, you done got up here, man, and that, that's an embarrassment to the oil. Come on, man. Then the police talking about what's going on. That's undue heat. I said, ooh, they reading them, po ooh, <laughs> listen, they reading on what they finna write you up for. He was like, then cuz, don't ask for you to want to see and anything, cuz, bro, talking crazy, and then you talking, man, then the guy trying to get you, you know what I'm saying, bro, you talking about, bro, that disrespect. I said, ooh, that three. That undo he disrespect and an embarrassment to the org. I said, who they finna do it to him? And then I thought he better win that fight, cause if not, he probably gonna get boots put on him. And when you get them shoes put on, you know what I'm saying? That mean it's, it's over with, you know what I'm saying? And cause you're done. You're done. <laughs> so we finished eating. We mob on back, bruh still trying to explain himself to the guys. Soon it could them come through the union. He comes straight. Hey, 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 what's up? Oh, he disrespectful. I said, oh, he trying to disrespect the guy. So one of the guys came like, man, what's up, Joe T? You on? I said, I'm the security. I can... That was up. I come down. I said, this guy, I'm like, man, what's up? He was like, man, you know, could, could want to see, you know what I'm saying? Whatever sale, whatever y'all want to do, you know what I'm saying? Y'all pat him down. We're going to pat out. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want somebody in the house, y'all want to do because Cud said he want to see him. He already done come to I said, oh, that was up. I said, we already done discussed all that. I said, man, let me holler at the guy real quick. Whatever, whatever, whatever. They picked the, they picked the, 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 the crib sale to go in. We go up here. I, we get on point. This is one of the issues. This is one situation I kind of was moving in the, the ways that I, I didn't have no business move. So they go set this up. True enough, bro, we in the fight. Bro, we in the, he, he better have won the fight. Bro, we in the fight. The crib still come out talking crazy, you know what I'm saying, about breaking line and all this and that. By the time. This man come out of the cell, go down to his cell, get himself situated. Hey, Joe T, I need to holler at you real quick. GB the reason, folks. Come on in, bro. Man, bless his cell. Hey, look, I need you to look over this real quick. He, I said, what's this? I said, man, I wrote bro up, you know what I'm saying? Undo heat, you know what I'm saying? Disrespect and such. I said, dang. He said, yeah, I, 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 I'm looking at it. He said, man, make sure I got the make sure I got the head and the and the and the, and the, and the you know what I'm saying? Make sure I got everything right. You know what I'm saying? How many letters and da, 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 da. If you if you if you've been GD, then you know what I'm talking about. If you ain't never been GD before, then you then you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't never been GD, listen, I advise you to never become GD or anything else, Vice Lord, Crip, whatever, in ain't street gang, street names, uh uh whatever you want to call it, I advise you to never get involved with anything that, that can be socialized with organized crime, any kind of crime, any kind of violence, any kind of anything that's that, that, that's that to the community and your mindset. I advise you to never get involved with that. Don't believe the hype about it. Don't let, don't, don't let them folks fool you and think, you know what I'm saying, that everything, because everything in glitter ain't gold. They might be, be wearing a little chain. They might be a little friend, got a little bankroll in their pocket, but listen to me. They going to two places. They going to jail or they going to the graveyard. Just like they told me, and I promise you, I went to jail. Them old heads didn't lie. So if you don't believe me, listen to me. Go ahead and try. And after you try, just let me know. When you come back to the video, go to the comment section. Say, Joe T, you told me the truth because I went to jail. So, <laughs> look, check this out. So I, I I read it. They go serve the right up. Not only he had to fight so his body already tied. They give him a three minute cover. They give him a three minute cover. I gotta go in here and watch the time. So I'm sitting in the cell. I'm sitting in the cell. All right, time. Listen to me. He got to throw the he got to throw the pitchforks up, or he got to do right over. Let's let, take pop 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 And you can rotate right there. <laughs> they giving them them back shots. <laughs> Come on, G. <laughs> ah, ah, no, -uh. back on wall, G. Back on wall, G. <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself as I'm watching this one. This is what we signed up for. Whether he cut the line or not. I'm sitting here and I'm watching. Three people punch on this man and he can't fight back. And they hate making him. Boom, 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 boom. One brother punching him all up and down this side. Other brother punching him up and down this side. And other brother right here in the boom, 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 boom. Watch out, 
bro. You rotate. Boom, 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 boom. Punching you all in your leg. They going out. <laughs> I'm just sitting here and I'm looking like it's two minutes. It's two minutes, 15 seconds. This man got uh, time, time, time. It's doing. It's over, G. Love, bro. Love, G. Love, G. GD on that. GD on that. GD on that, Jotun. GD on that. Bro, you good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Bro, we ain't told you about cutting that line, bro. Cool, cutting that line, bro. We don't want to punch on you like that, bro. It's all love. Love, G. Love, G. I'm thinking to myself. I'm loving this. What is he talking about? He need to quit jumping that line. What's wrong with him?